This is probably uh, the very, very best description of lust that's ever, ever been written. And it's not just lust of the flesh and desire for satisfaction of the flesh, but it can, apply, it can be applied to lust of any kind, basically to desire. And in nothing that's been written has such a, a sort of an acute perception of uh, and an analysis of what actually takes place place during the, the, the procedure of lust and it's sonnet number 129 by Shakespeare it takes a number of readings to actually let it sink in and to actually get the gist of it and what it exactly means as the writing is so so florid and intricate sonnet 129 the expense of spirit in a waste of shame is lust in action and till action lust is perjured murderous, bloody, full of blame, savage, extreme, rude, cruel, not to trust, enjoyed no sooner but despised, straight, past reason hunted, and no sooner had past reason hated as a swallowed bait on purpose, laid to make the taker mad, mad in pursuit and in possession so had having and in quest to have extreme a bliss in proof and proved a very woe before a joy proposed behind a dream all this the world knows too well yet none know well to shun the heaven that leads men to this hell doesn't get any better does it i'm not even going to bother to analyze it <coughs> excuse me uh it's just absolutely it's like it's like it's like written dynamite it's really really incredible and the final line all the world this knows well yet none know how to shun the heaven that leads to this hell incredible absolutely incredible i i often think looking at shakespeare's works that the person who wrote them had actually transcended the human condition and it, it was, was basically supernatural to actually write not just what he wrote but the other tremendous amount of, of, of just sub, utterly sublime work is just truly incredible. That's my fourth sonnet on the Capital H Healing Channel and I'm really, really enjoying them. I must learn them off by heart so I can actually do a little bit of gesticulating and, and acting and so on the expense of spirit in a waste of shame is lust in action and till action lust is perjured murderous bloody full of blame savage extreme rude cruel not to trust enjoyed no sooner but despised straight what more can one say that's it isn't it and I, I've, I've spoke with a number of friends over the last few weeks and we talk about desire and, and sexual desire and so on. And most seem to think that if they get their, their thrills from sexual pleasure, all will be well. But I, I'm afraid, this is not me saying it, it's nature saying it, it's William Shakespeare saying it. I'm afraid that's not the case because the cheap sexual thrill leads to a massive emptiness. And as Shakespeare says, no sooner had past reason hated. Uh, and it, it's almost a, a self-defilement uh, self uh, of one's true inner spiritual essence to do such a thing. And I may be very, very old fashioned, and I, I've lived both, both uh, sides of the coin in the sense of doing what Shakespeare asks us not to do in this sonnet and living a very, very chaste life. And the chaste one is ultimately, undeniably far, far more rewarding. And I'm now at a stage where, where I realise the importance of love and that the, and that the sexual act is, is a method of fulfilling that love that you have for another human being. And it raises it to a completely different level, but just for a cheap thrill. Uh, it has the total opposite effect. Totally. It's undeniable. Thank you very much for listening. This is William Shakespeare in London Town, 2021. Bye-bye.